Um, there were a few a few moments where I did get frustrated with it, and y'all, your girl most liked it right back. I'm not even playing. Hey love, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Vazi and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a hair update, okay? It's been a minute since I've talked to you guys about my hair and what's going on, and I just felt like it was the right time to do so, okay? While doing a braid out on my hair, okay? So we're gonna braid this hair down and we're gonna chat a little bit. But before we get into that, real quick shameless plug, if you don't know, um, I did recently start a cosmetics business, all natural products, cruelty free. We have body butters, body scrubs, body oils, body mist, soaps, you know, all that good stuff and more to come. So if you are interested in anything like that, do check the description box below for the link to our Instagram. Go ahead and follow, show us some support, and you know, purchase anything that you see you might like. Our website is currently under construction, but if you click the link in our Instagram bio, you can sign up for our newsletter to be the first to know when we do officially launch our website, okay? So if you see anything that you do wanna purchase, all you have to do is DM us and you know, we got you, okay? Period. All right, so let's just go ahead and hop right into what we finna talk about. So, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this Mayo's Twisting Souffle into my hair. That is um, something that I have been using a lot lately, Mayo's products, and specifically the pomegranate and honey. Oh my goodness, y'all, it's like awesome and super hydrating, and I just love it for my curls, okay? So this is what we're going to be using. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Are we going to focus? Yes. Hello. Okay. What I'm about to put into it, I have used the um, shampoo and leave-in conditioner from this collection uh, to wash and condition my hair. All right. As a lot of you know, I recently, well, almost so recently, about a little over a year ago, I combed out my locks and since then I have cut my hair a few times why because it needs to be okay and that's really a deep discussion for another video do be on the lookout for um, a life after my locks kind of video because I'm in the process of actually outlining that one right now because we need to talk about it but this one is just an update on what's been going on since then so we're not gonna dive too deep into that part yet so um, yeah I cut my hair about three or four times because I did um, a pixie cut I let my mom cut my hair and then since then uh, well a few times after that um, I allowed my hubby to trim it down some more so that I keep it a little shorter and fit the way that I want it to look simply because um, it was just like not giving me what I wanted it to give me nevertheless did that a couple of times and now I'm just at the point where I'm allowing it to grow because I had to take some time and just learn you know what my hair needed and understand how to work with it because I was running to some snacks okay everything on YouTube ain't for you I'm gonna tell you that right now sis if you are starting your natural hair journey it's so it's so important to do your research and to you know watch other people and, and of course take some of their advice on what they're using for their hair what they're doing for their hair but what I really want you to understand is everyone's hair is not the same hair type texture all that it could be different I have like three different textures in my head so you know I had to really play around and figure out what did work for my hair and what doesn't and so I took that time to just like learn my hair so I've kind of been a little in my egg but I'm back I'm ready cuz we here oh uh, but yeah so that is where I'm at right now okay I'm really wanting to grow it out healthily um, there were a few a few moments where I did get frustrated with it and y'all your girl most liked it right back I'm not even playing I still do plan on locking it again I'm just not sure when okay and y'all probably gonna think I'm insane for saying that like girl you just say you just combed out your locks a year ago yeah 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 like I said 
that's for another video okay a conversation for another video so if you're interested you definitely want to hit that subscribe button and cut on your bell notifications so you can know when it's posted period so at this point hair health and hair growth is very important to me and I just want to be able to do it in the best way possible not gonna cut it anymore unless it's like trimming my ends of course which when it comes to trimming it if it's not me it's gonna be my mama but <laughs> nevertheless it'll get done some things that I've learned uh, twist outs they're not for me me and twist outs we, we not we don't vibe at all maybe with more research, more learning and figuring things out, maybe once it gets longer or something, maybe, just maybe, it will. Y'all, I, excuse the get on this, it's gonna happen here. I'm using a comb to hold my hair in place because I forgot to grab my clamps and I'm not gonna go get them right now. But anyways, um, maybe once it gets longer, it might be something to revisit, but, it's not, it's, they're, 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 they're not, they're not the best for me. <laughs> they're not the best for me. Uh, the twist outs are, look really dope on certain people's hair. And I be pissed. I be pissed when I take the time to do either mini twists or jumbo twists in my head. And they just don't come out right. My curls do not stay defined, honey. Like if I want, let's say if I want my hair to be more of a fro and less defined, then yes, I'll do a twist out. I don't know what it is about my hair that just when I take the twists apart and I gently try to separate them and all that, it just never works out right, okay? So, I learned that the hard way. I kept trying and kept trying. I was like, no, nah, I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. And I might one day, but girl, look, sis that had enough of me trying to twist her up and I'm not even going to play with her like that. I'm just going to give her what she wants, give her what she needs. And that being said... Tweed outs are legit <sighs> everything for my head, and that's what we're doing today. When I do tweed outs, they just look super nice. Like it's the, it's really the braid outs that work. But I do love to do the twist out part at the ends um, because it's really my roots that the twist outs don't do too well with. Like the way me and my hair. Hey, I'm just I'm, I'm being real it don't work for me it doesn't um, so yeah love tweet outs for me <laughs> but uh, right out, I mean twist outs are enough wash and goes are cool they just don't last as long and they single strand knots are a thing and I hate them and when I do wash and goes that's exactly what happens to that damn single strand knots and I have really realized that I would I, I'm pretty much a, a lazy natural <laughs> like quick easy out the way and that's what I want you know what I'm saying and not to say that everything is quick and easy but the quicker the better for me I do take my time with um, whatever it is that I'm doing with my hair because honestly without taking your time and putting in intention um, you know your hair is not gonna do what it what you wanted to do in the first place and with me being at my hair growth journey portion like literally understanding what my hair growth journey is what I need to use in order to do that and all that stuff putting that intention that love and intention into my hair it shows out differently and it will show out differently for you as well if you do the same thing since I'm not even kidding I'm not playing with you at all like when you take the time to love your hair while doing it you know she'll do you right okay your crown gonna show out for you that's really what I'm trying to work on and so sticking with what works for my hair is best for me mostly like lately I have literally just been allowing it to do its thing like after doing it leaving it alone you know like letting it be I don't heat stretch it anymore I used to heat stretch it don't do that no more if I'm stretching it I'm banding it with these um, satin scrunchies I don't heat stretch my hair anymore because first of all to me it was a waste of time ever like it came out how I wanted it to but it just took too much time 
time. And I ain't got time to be wasting. I'm a busy lady, period. So I band stretch it. And I don't band stretch it on the first day. Like, you guys are going to see towards the end of this video what the first day is going to look like after my braid out. And then what day two is going to look like. Because I really want to show you guys the difference in what I've been learning. Um, so after doing my braid outs, just like once I take them out day one, I take them out. I might do a little fluffing, hand fluffing, or, um, you know, lifting up the roots a little bit with pick that's it pretty much it for day one and then um before going to bed i'm band stretching it i mean <laughs> before going to bed i'm stretching it with scrunchies like i said and day two turns out to be a little different to me day two is always better i've grown to love my day one here and that in itself is a huge accomplishment because coming from having locks to you to going to you know your free hair your natural free hair it's a huge learning curve because with locks it's a lot different you're not you don't have to know exactly what works for your hair as far as like curl defining and um, locking in moisture and all that good stuff because with locks your curls aren't exposed it's pretty much like a protective style for however long you have your locks so you don't have to worry about detangling. You don't have to worry about, you know, like I said, what defines your curls and all that stuff. So after detangling my locks, it was like a love-hate relationship with my hair. I'm like, I know I have beautiful hair and I love my curls. I love my my textures, but like, what do I do with them? You know, that's kind of what it was like. It's like, what the hell am I gonna do with this hair? Because I don't know it well enough. So we had to get acquainted, okay, sis? Me and sis had to get close. We had to come to an agreement. We had to talk it out. And she was basically like, girl, listen, I'm gonna tell you what's good for me and what I like. You just gotta listen. And so that's that on that. Biggest tip you can do when you're going from your locked hair to your natural hair is listening to your hair. You're gonna have to go through a trial and error phase, y'all, but listen to your hair. That's pretty much where I'm at with my hair. That's pretty much my hair update. You know, just learning to love it and learning what works for it. Um, but yeah, y'all, I really don't have much more to update y'all on, so. We're about to comb this last little patch out and then we're going to braid this hair back. And then, you know, I'll see y'all again whenever I take it out tomorrow. Okay y'all, so this is what day one looks like. I literally just took um, the braids out. And this is usually what I'm working with for day one. It gives, it gives, it gives a little some, a little some, but I'm telling you, day two, day two really be clutch. 
much so just want to show y'all what day one looks like um you know we got moved now whatever it's so cute i love the way um the curls come out the definition it'd be on point for me it'll never be like this for a twist out so love my braid outs <clears throat> excuse my voice anyway so yeah day one i'm gonna show y'all day two tomorrow don't worry okay sis so, so this is day two <laughs> yes it is it's day two um and this is what we given so as I'm editing this video, I have realized that day one this go around was actually more of my preference. Um, day two, I did have some fluffage in the front, lost a little definition, so I had to make up for that. But all is still well, you know what I'm saying, y'all I mean, it's what it is, it's whatever. <laughs> definition if you can see right here though I did have to um, finger coil <laughs> um, because they were getting really fluffy on the sides but that's just how I refresh it and y'all seeing this is what it like so yes that is it for this video if you made it this far you're the goat you're the villain I love you so much and until next time remember to love yourself wholeheartedly radiate with positivity and vibrate at your highest frequency okay boo peace out <laughs>